was that my son and I must have a very close relationship with an outstanding open wedding. That's absolutely true. We have an extremely close relationship, but Eric has always come to talk to me and felt comfortable talking to me about things in his life, looking for advice. And he gives me a call one day and he says, you know, he said, I just, he said, I'm just frustrated. He said, I think I, he said, my, my standards are just too high. I'm just looking for too much. And he starts talking to me about what he wanted in a wife. And I said, he said, you know, Dad, how do you know when she's the right one? And I said, well, it's something I can't explain to you, but this is something that you're just going to have to know when you meet her. About three months later, he gives me a call up, and he's met Carol, and I think they're chatting online and stuff like that. And I'm smiling to myself. And I said, you get it now, don't you? He said, yeah, I absolutely. Send me as a seal upon your heart as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death. Jealousy is fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man offered for love all the wealth of his house, he would be utterly despised. But today, Eric became accountable to someone other than himself and his little sister. He became accountable to Carolyn and to life and all the possibilities that love has to offer. And even though I know it's going to be a little tough for to get me out of trouble with mom and dad, I know you're up for the task because this is what we've been training for for 24 years now. <laughs> so today I'm just going to go back to one of the first lessons that we're taught as a kid, and that's you can always have more than one best friend. So, I would like to raise a glass and toast the welcoming of Eric's new best friend, as well as mine, Carolyn. Now, there's a little difference here. Uh, Eric can recognize that Carolyn is intelligent, and she is lovely and kind, and a very good ice skater. I have seen it in person. And Eric, Carolyn can see, is smart and supportive, and he has a job. <laughs> and he checked off like 17 boxes. I didn't know you could have 17 boxes, but Carolyn had like 17 boxes. Just check, check, check. So, wow, that is really impressive. Good job, Mom and Dad. So, so there is certainly, there's, a, there's something drawing them together. You can see it in their eyes. You can see how they look. They, they, they got the all you need is love feeling. There will also be many days when love is a choice. Love is not what holds the marriage together. It is the commitment and the institution of marriage that preserves this lifelong love. When the feelings are here and then they're gone and then they're back, you have this commitment, this choice to love each other. So instead of thinking that you're going to wake up every day and say, mm, I feel tingling. <laughs> say, today's another day that I will Instead of saying, today I will float on a cloud of passion as I consider all your wonderful perfections. <laughs> With morning breath and all the rest. No, you will say, today is a day I will forgive you and I will cherish you and I will recognize your imperfections and I will choose to love you anyways. I am honored to propose a toast to my favorite daughter and her husband, Carol and Eric. But there are a lot of reasons why she's my favorite daughter. Uh, not only because she's my only daughter, but she's also very much like her mother. She is fun to be around, and uh, she's probably also the most goal-oriented, disciplined person I know. In her studies, in her Bible reading program, in the scripture memory program, and her athletic pursuits, uh, she was uh, actually a championship uh, skater, and now she does these absolutely insane workouts. I think if I trained for a while, I could do 15 minutes <laughs> of watching her do it. <laughs> you will have to sacrifice, both of you, your time, your energy, Lord willing, if he blesses you with children, that's when the sacrifices really start. All of the times where you may be tempted to keep a, 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 an 
account of each other's wrongdoings, to withhold your affection, to silence your conversation, to not share your thoughts or your prayers. That requires choice. That requires sacrifice. That's what love is. That's what God wants. I heard a pastor say one time. He said, you want to know, you want to know the secret to a good marriage? I'll give it to you one more. People are supposed to look and see this mystery of Christ and the church, how they love one another, how Carolyn gives this intelligent, gracious submission, an attitude of trust, and how Eric, in turn, gives this strong yet gentle sacrificial leadership so that as the head of his household, Eric is the one who says the word. Let's, Carolyn will say it too, but he can say let's. It's often coming from his mouth. Let's pray together. Let, let's go out tonight. Let's get it. The goal turned in two. At least he was in his pursuit. Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn is our treasure. And I don't think you realize yet just how much you are asking when you ask for her hand. And Carol is my favorite daughter, so you're my favorite son in law. <laughs> Eric, don't screw this up. <laughs> Oh, 